Hello everyone and welcome to a new series we're going to be running on the channel for a, a little bit. Um, so this is Stellaris. It is a space exploration game quite different to anything that I've done on the channel up until now. But I've always had a love of old space exploration games. Uh, whether it's... Uh, Oh geez, uh, Space Empires 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Masters of Orion 1, 2, not 3, we won't mention 3, um, or, or anything kind of along that vein. Hell, even stars, exclamation mark, if you want to go all the way back to really, really old versions of Windows. Um, I, this has been on my wish list for quite a while. We have my lovely brother to thank for this. He's uh, picked it up for me for my birthday. Uh, so we're going to get to run a campaign. I've done about eight to ten hours of gameplay uh, just off camera just so that I can get a feel for how things are going to go. This is by no means going to be a tutorial. This is going to be beginner friendly in the sense that I have very little idea of what I'm doing and I'm going to be trying to make the best decisions that I can. Mm -hmm. So we're going to make a new game. I've already made some some like custom uh, races. Uh, there's like the space foxes, there's uh, Fake Borg, uh, we've got a totalitarian dictator regime, and we've got the Konar Cabal. Uh, for any uh, people that speak French, I'm sure they'll find that incredibly amusing. Uh, we're going to create a new one. Uh, these can all potentially show up in the game. Uh, it's going to be a relatively small game that we're going to have running. Uh, we're going to make a new race entirely, uh, but I'm going to start with a small one and see how it goes and if people really want to see like a larger one, do let me know and uh, we can always switch it out before the series gets too far in. Uh, right, okay, so who do we want to be? We could be Space Burbs. Space Burbs seems like a fun thing to do, okay. Uh, this is going to be the... No, not the Feral, not the Shinazi. I want it to be relatively easy for me to pronounce, but also kind of a little... Yeah, why not the Han? Uh, kind of uh, interesting enough. Uh, Hans, that's a fun plural. Uh, we're not going to bother filling in the biography for them. Uh, right, so we need uh, a avian, avian. The ISS unrestrained. Well, we don't want ISS. Uh, we want the uh, the WS uh, wingspan unrestrained plumage. Yeah, that that will work quite well. Uh, let's go avian three glorious bloodshed. Yeah, majestic bloodbath. Hell, these are these are my kind of names. <laughs> Okay, I don't want to make us too war-minded. I want us to be s smart. Physicists smart. I want us to be a little bit industrious. Uh, so we've got one trait point, we've got four trait picks. So really I should probably think about what, what we don't mind about. Unity's uh, useful for gradually advancing your society from what I've found out. Uh, we could go for Unruly. I don't mind too much about Empire Sprawl. We can work, we can counteract that with uh, with different colony stuff. Uh, I think we'll have Nomadic. Kind of want talented and quick learners. So we'll go for both of those. And the rest, the rest we'll leave as they are. They, there's a lot of different options that you can have. Uh, once I've played the game a lot more, I'm sure I'll understand what the uh, min-maxing options are better and, and what we can really, really go for. Uh, now these birds, they look like tropical birds. So let's, let's go for a tropical world. Uh, you know what? I like Inaris. Let's let's go with Inaris. And we're going to want an avian city because, you know, we're avians. Uh, for the origins, plenty of different options. We're not a mechanist, so we can't really go for that. Uh, don't really want to have a subservient species. Uh, I'll probably do that at some point, but uh, for now... 
the options that we've got prosperous unification post-apocalypse galactic doorstep lost colony uh, uh, yeah th those are the ones that we've got lost colony an advanced empire spawned somewhere in the galaxy don't really want to be running into bigger badder versions of ourselves galactic doorstep i'm sure that's going to be a potential problem yeah looming menace so prosperous unification or post-apocalypse think we'll go for prosperous unification it's the default option uh, nice and straightforward so extra population and extra districts available so now we need to think about what we actually want for our people do we want to be the beacon of liberty do we want to be barbaric to spoilers religious birds we could do religious birds Extra unity is kind of nice. I prefer something that gives us a bit more science. Let's go authoritarian uh, rather than egalitarian. I like the idea of people working a little bit harder. And I don't mind being a bit of a, a dictator or full imperial. In fact, let's, let's go full imperial. We'll go slightly militarist. And yeah, we'll go a little bit spiritual as well. So it does limit the options that we've got available over here. So let's have a look and see if there's anything that particularly looks amazing. Inward perfection. Cannot have rifles. Cannot form defensive packs. Wow. I mean, that's like full, like, don't go anywhere near anyone else. Technocracy. Ooh. Has fanatic materialist. That's, uh, that's, uh, that one as opposed to spiritual. That does actually sound a bit more like what I would want. So I suppose we could we could lose militarist and go for that. Okay, so we're going for the technocracy. And then we've got one more pick to go along with it. Slaver guilds would allow us to potentially deal with some enemies in a very fun way or we could go Corvi and allow us to just expand a bit better let's go philosopher king let's go philosopher king uh, rulers and these are less likely to develop negative traits I think an illuminated autocracy is exactly the kind of thing that space burbs are going to have. Uh, yeah, we'll go materialist with the voice. And the Han Sovereignty, that's fine. Okay, I want something that looks a little bit bird-like. Lots of wings. Let's go ornate, actually. Actually, yeah, no, that, that's going to be fine. Oh, God, no. That that looks horrible. That's better. I think we need nicer colours, so let's go brown. Right, secondary colours, we can have a little bit of gold accent. That's okay. Doesn't really fit with that, though. So, not the paradox one. Oh, space burbs. Perfect. Perfect. We have our appearance. Okay, we want avian ships. And our ruler is going to be male Blackwing x -tac. Primus and Secundus. I like that. Redbeak. 
Uh, gold, gold beak. Uh, we need something that looks like birds would have been able to come up with it. You know, I like I like this one. And for clothes, oh, perfect. There we go. An illuminated autocracy. I'm sure this is going to be brilliant and terrible. Uh, we'll save them so that they can crop up again and uh, get this game on the go. So we're going to go for for a small one, uh, just so that I've got more chance of actually meeting other empires and finding out what's going on. This is a learning experience for me as it mu uh, as much as it is going to be for you guys watching and cringing. Uh, I've already kind of set this up, so we've got one potential fallen empire, uh, one marauder empire in there, uh, no advanced AI starts, everything else is set exactly as default. And we've got Iron Mode on, uh, sorry, Iron Man mode on as well, just because there's no way I'm going to be like saving and reloading. This is purely for fun. So let's get this game on the go. Pauses us automatically at the start, which is great, so we can do a little bit of reading. In the eons since the first primitive Han communities took shape in the dense jungles of Inaris, our civilization has spread and prospered. The birth of science and rational thought necessitated the removal of those political leaders who impeded technological progress through ignorance, superstition, sheer stupidity, or a combination of the three. Instead, a single qualified ruler from the scientific community would be chosen to guide our developing nation into the future. Now, after the discovery of the Hyperlane network, the finest minds of all the Han sovereignty have finished development of the first hyperdrives. The stars themselves are finally within our grasp. I think we're pretty well set for this. Greetings, Primus. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence developed by the finest minds of our civilization All right. to serve as your now, advisor. The tutorial is going to get annoying, I'm sure, but I'm going to have it an tell decision. me everything. Star and be adorned in what I'll do is I'll, I'll dismiss it as it comes along. Um, just because there'll be some things that I've not seen in this game and learning how they work is going to be kind of vital. We're going to start off by deciding is where we'll... on our research stuff. We've got three different areas. We've got engineering, we've got society and physics. We are better at engineering. Let's have a look at that first. Hmm. Invest now for the future. Nanomechanics is probably a good option for us to start with. Let's get that going. That's going to be 57 months. Jeez. I mean, we're not doing a small amount of research, but it's still going to be a long time. Over here, we could do the same for biodiversity studies. Mm -hmm. Or like an off-world trading company. That's not a bad idea. Now we'll get biodiversity studies and over here we'll get quantum theory. We are, ooh, no, administrative AI. That's going to affect all research speed, so that's that's the one we want. 62 months until that kicks in. Very nice. Okay, so uh, what the tutorial the wants us to do, displays go away, uh, is to survey neighbouring systems. Uh, we're definitely going to do that. We've got some things that we can still do here. We can make a research station there. We can get some mining going over here. Uh, let's have a look at where we are. Oh, wow, we're right at the very, very edge of the galaxy. I mean, geez, we are um, slightly isolated. Okay. This is our science ship. Which well, we'll send the science ship straight out, get them surveying. I want to get this another is science ship base. on the go so we can do a little bit more than that. It's going to take 100 uh, alloys and 60 time units. We've got plenty of alloys, so that's going to be fine for us. This Construction is ship. Let's go back in and get you working. We can only do one of the buildings that I want right now. So let's get a mining station going and we'll unpause. Now these will tick up over time our various resources. That's going to be Kind to of, overcome the vast distances. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's going to be useful. Um, so I'm going after this first so that we get more of our minerals sooner so that we can build this sooner. 
And this is going to give us a little bit of physics research, which is why I really want it. Our new science ship is building at the moment. It's going to allow us to... Ooh, second to Starwing. Extac is the new heir. Great. Dismiss that. Uh, this second science ship, as soon as it's done, we're going to send it out exploring further because we can't just rely on one ship. Right, it's already been created, so... Let's give the him a new leader. Let's us hire. Your research speed, you get more experience. Your research speed, well, they're not going to be doing research, so we'll... We don't have enough energy. We're going to have to wait just a little bit. Uh, before we do that, though, we can at least get the ship moving towards the edge of the system. Yeah, we need 200 energy credits in order to hire that scientist. And the scientist is going to be needed in order for us to effectively use it. So I think at the moment, the game is waiting for our other science ship to arrive. Can I go to it? There we go. Right, we've got enough to hire the leader that I wanted. Let's get them in. Leader experience gain is improved. And then back to the map, scroll out. So we've got a science ship here. So this has been explored. It's not been surveyed yet. Uh, but it means that we can just bypass it and move straight on into the next place. And I think that's what we'll do. So you can survey here, survey here, and then survey here. And they will run into other things that they need to do, I'm sure, during that time. Our construction ship is nearly done. Construction project concluded. Lovely. We're almost at the point, there we go, where we've got enough materials to build our next research station. So we'll get that going. We can also build a little energy credit harvesting thing around this planet. We've actually got quite a lot of decent stuff in our in our home place. Yeah, that's a decent amount of materials. Okay, this let's, is our home let's have a look at the home the world of our empire. and see the kind the of thing we can do screen, here. Which we are currently looking at provides an overview of the planet's important statistics and allows yeah, it. Yeah, go away. So we're going to need energy credits before we can really do anything with the home world. Removing the spawning slums is probably one of the first things that we want to do here. Uh, it'll give us an instant extra population and that'll just benefit the, the Empire. So as soon as we get up to 300 uh, credits, I'll get that going. After that, it'll really depend on the the kind of direction that we want to take this. I do like the idea of us getting some more research, but that could benefit us in the long run by hampering us in the short run. Now I'm gonna be playing at normal speed at the early years, and then I'll probably ramp the speed up as we get a little bit further in, because uh, I don't want anything to go past me and lose a ton of time right at the start. If we bring up the uh, the victory, the victory conditions, screen lists we're already in sixth place, so we're not doing brilliantly, but that's that's going to be in part down to who we are and how we've started. Uh, 126 credits, so that's going all right. Construction ship is doing its building of that research station. I really want to get the, uh, um, the physics research done because that's a flat research bonus across the entire empire. And in fact, once you're done with that, you can just move straight on and get this station done. And then I think that's everything mined in here, so you may as well move down here. Ooh, we've got a potential habitable planet. And 
We've recovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on Gratron 3. Incredibly, the civilization, which apparently referred to itself as the Cyrix, seems to have been made up of machines that were linked together in some sort of collective consciousness. The age of the artifacts indicates they were active some 600,000 years ago. In this portion of the galaxy, at least, but we haven't learned anything of their origins. According to partial data fragment that scientists managed to extract, Cyberx at some point launched a crusade to destroy all sapient organic life in the galaxy. Situation log updated. Yeah, okay, so. The Cyberx, great. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled in case there's any artifacts relating to them out and about. And I say out and about because I mean, of course, in the entirety of the galaxy. We've got a lot of exploring to do. Uh, okay. So the Han Sovereignty is abuzz with news of the alien remnants that we've recently studied. These leavings are considered definitive proof of intelligent, purposeful alien activity at some point in the past. We may still be alone now, but we're at least not the first to be so. Uh, you're still surveying Gertrude. You've got a lot of surveying to do. So both of those are going to be quite a while. I could build another science ship and get it out exploring further, but knowing that we've got a potential habitable world over here, I don't want to waste our resources on it unnecessarily. Not yet, anyway. We're almost at 300 credits, so we can certainly think about getting our hope Via the market screen, we can thinking about it. We can sell some food to get us the credits that we need in order to get our home world clearing the slums. That's going to be really good for just giving us a flat boost. Flat boost of plus to population cannot be a bad thing. Of course, those of you who've played this many times before, experienced it, you're probably looking at what I'm doing going, oh my god, I can't believe he's... Uh, He's wasting resources on this, but uh, bear in mind, I've Anomaly only had found. a few hours so far. All right, let's pause. We've found an anomaly. We're receiving a weak signal from the surface of the planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Uh, beacon. It's a routine anomaly level. This guy's skill level one. Uh, so yeah, that's going to be 120 days. Uh, so uh, the game will carry on until the year 2500. Uh, it works out about 30 hours of unpaused game time with it ticking up at the rate that it does. Construction project concluded. So 120 research time will be about two minutes of unpaused. Uh, yeah, you can come down here. We've got extra credits coming in. Uh, we're going to want to colonize this soon. Are you nearly done? Yeah, you've only got two left. So by the time it makes it all its way down here, we should hopefully have what we need to build our first outpost. Maybe I should have finished the surveying first. It's not going to be much of a delay, but... It's always worth considering these things. Now, at the moment, our military fleet is docked at our home um, home space station. I could bring it down to here as our primary border, uh, but it's having reduced upkeep costs by being where it is, so the incentive is not really to do anything there. Okay, that population has finished on the capital. Let's have a look and see what we might do. So, the buildings here... What I'm thinking is we could get some research labs. It'll give two researcher jobs, which might cost eight of the uh, the different consumer goods. But it'll give us plenty of research and unity. So we're going to need 400 materials in order to be able to fund that. It might be a while before we actually get there, because it doesn't look like there's much generation around us. but. It's not going to be too bad. 
Right, we've almost finished investigating that anomaly. Our other science ship is happily exploring Fuldora. Now, one thing I love about this uh, uh, this game so far is the the depth of beauty that they put into the planets and uh, interstellar uh, space bodies. Uh, space bodies, God, no, interstellar bodies. Uh, that's what I mean. Okay, so an ancient survey marker. Short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Gertram 4. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners, it was meant for, evidently never arrived as the deposit is still here. Great. So let's head back out. That has given us an additional four minerals available in the system. We've got one more planet to survey and then we can claim this system as our own. So that won't be long at all. Yeah, the uh, the effort that they've put into the um, the different suns, planets, uh, phenomena that you're going to run into is pretty amazing. Uh, well I, done. I love the, first the map as well. Of the star system beyond our own has been completed. We now have it. Okay, so we've we've surveyed the system. Uh, we'll be able to uh, control that uh, by building. Where are you? A star base. This is going to take influence and alloys. Influence ticks up for me at 3.5, um, which is not huge, but it's pretty constant throughout the game. Uh, alloys, of course, that's uh, based on our general production back at base. So we should be able to relatively consistently expand. The science ship is doing nothing now, so we'll send them down here. You can survey this. Then this, then this, and I'm sure it'll run into other things as it goes along. Uh, now is actually a good time for us to build another science ship. What do we save up? Let's, sa let's save up for the colony ship. Oh, it's only 20% habitable. It's not great. It's not great. Remarkable. We have discovered spacefaring alien entities that may or may not be intelligent. But that's... let's face it, probably are. Their true nature will remain a... That's worrying and good, but worrying. So we've got... Uh, we've encountered some form of alien vessels in the Fidelim system. These strange objects have been flagged as alpha aliens. <laughs> News of alien ships humming through the ether have reached Naris. In many ways, ending the first chapter of the book of the Han sovereignty bid for a stellar empire. Oh well. So, let's pause. If I bring up the situation log, we have a new task available. Uh, we can investigate them and try and make contact. It's going to take 500 society research. If we activate this, it's going to stop us researching down here while we do it. So it is, it is a sacrifice to be able to do that, but we're going to potentially get influence from it. So I think it's probably worth us actually doing that. We'll get it going. In the meantime, it's not going to stop us exploring and expanding. As long as they're neutral and they don't try and kill us. Ooh, a tropical world now down there. Now that we have begun exploring our neighbouring stars, it might be time to extend our reach. Yeah, already, already doing that. Concluded. We have another survey over here. 20% habitability is not great. Um, our ship is going to move automatically over here and carry on exploring. Or was it down here? It's going to do both. Uh, so it's it's already got its uh, moves queued up. I did that with shift and then uh, right click, right click uh, on each of them setting the commands. Knowing that this is a tropical world and we come from a tropical world, it's likely to be very habitable. So I'm not gonna get another science ship just yet. We're gonna save up for the uh, the alloys we need for a colony ship. In the meantime, our construction ship is claiming uh, Goratran for our empire. I wonder who else we've got out there on the galactic map.
Now this early on, um, unity, as I mentioned, is used for um, traditions and uh, changing the way that the society as a whole works. Um, the amount you need to actually get a new tradition is quite low, and that can gradually increase Far out. as the, uh, the, the game progresses. Concluded. Okay, now that we've uh, conquered, claimed this place, there's our little station. Uh, we could upgrade this. Um, we can do all kinds of stuff uh, to try and make it better, uh, turn it into a starport. Uh, we can build defense platforms. There, there's a load of different things, um, but we don't want to do any of that just yet. That's a waste of resources. What we want is we want to claim this. We're going to build a mining station on the sun. That's going to give us energy credits, and we're going to build a mining station down here on Goatron from four. It's going to cost us some minerals now. Yay! Our science leader has gained a level. It's down here. It's the one that ran into aliens and investigated that uh, that anomaly in Goatran. Yeah, it's going to cost us some resources now, but it's going to give us more resources in the long run, so it's it's definitely worth it. 11 months to go on this. I have important We've got no anomalies on the Go away. Uh, no anomalies on the go, and we're we're ranked third now. So it's really early days, but we're already improving. Okay, I did mention about tradition. We've gone just over three hundred. Tradition screen displays. So we need to decide screen. what we're going to be spending our tradition on: expansion, domination, prosperity, harmony, discovery. Discovery is pretty good. In terms of planning how things are going to go, getting research station output increased could could be the way to do it. Expansion makes things easier, of course, for expanding, domination for taking over people. Yeah, I think we'll, we'll go for discovery. I like the idea of uh, space burbs that uh, that are curious about what there is out in the stars. Uh, so our next um, tradition will take more to do. Um, three hundred fifty-two. Uh, sorry, three hundred fifty. Sorry, three hundred thirty-five. Falling over my own tongue, uh, as opposed to uh, three hundred standard. It it is. Um, something that gradually increases so the more we get the progressively worse uh, that will get but as we get more uh, uh, more colonies more star bases we'll be generating more unity so it should keep it progressing at a reasonable condition all right so as our science ship scans the surface of fiddle Illa, it becomes quite clear that we found something out of the ordinary. Its composition and history provides it with extra materials that we should take opportunities to gather. We'll surely come across even more regularities like this as we survey new planets, and should not underestimate their impact on our expansion. So, this is giving a planetary modifier to Fiddlem Illa. And that's, yeah, that's giving it uh, six resources, so. It's a modern world, we're not going to be able to inhabit it. But it is still kind of interesting. Carrying on with the uh, the research and survey down there. As soon as this construction ship's done, I'm, I'm going to want to come down here and claim this. There was an alien ship there. I don't want them to claim it before we have a chance to. Uh, we're almost at the point where we could spend those 400 materials that I was talking about back on our home planet for a new research place. It might be worth us getting a second construction ship. But I do want to wait until... 
going to need to build a new star base. And we're not generating enough of these uh, alloys. Well, actually, we can we can sell food. We can sell food. We can make that work. So yeah, let's let's do this. So back at the home base, we're going to get a new construction ship. This will cost us 100 alloys, but it will allow us to One claim of our places ships has faster. just made a world that would make an excellent candidate for our first colony. Amazing. It is of the same planet class as our home world. 80%. So our colonists should be quite comfortable there. Uh, we're going to sell a butt-ton of food, because we're generating a huge excess of that. Uh, and with that, uh, it'll give us enough money that we can we can buy uh, alloys as we need them. Because we're going to colonise, uh, we're going to claim this system shortly. Uh, just as soon as you're done, I reckon you're going to come down here. No, our other construction ship will go over this way and claim this one. How are we doing on that society research? Six months until we can talk to them. Third Eye is nearly done with this surveying, so we'll be able to get this construction ship straight down. Habits of Words survey. Okay. Uh, we now know without a doubt that thriving biosphere is not something unique to Inaris. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found throughout the galaxy. Efforts to catalogue life forms we encounter are already underway, but xenobiologists have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds. Sure, we can do that. So that's giving us uh, a new construction project concluded. of things to do. Uh, you're already on your way down, so that's fine. Uh, yeah, so so this survey chain, when we've surveyed eight, I'm sure we'll get a little reward System from it. System survey concluded. Okay. Scientist Eyes of Green has gained a level. That's on the inner eye, uh, which is up here. So this one has gained a level. We've finished surveying... Vimus. System survey concluded. Perfect. Okay, construction ship. Get a star base down here. I want this place ASAP. That's got two physics research, eight materials, and two energy credits, and a habitable world. Awesome, and the other construction ship has just finished. Uh, we'll get them moving over this way. I'd like to secure this because it'll it'll cut off that as an entry point. Uh, it'll take them a while to get there, and by that point, we should have enough influence to build another starbase. Starbase outpost. Oh my word! Hello, you. Two potential habitable worlds: continental and arctic. This is really good. You know what, I think we should get a colony ship on the go now. So for colony ship we need 76 more food and 84 more alloys. It's a bit of a shame, I shouldn't have sold quite as much food as I did, but... Uh, 84 more alloys. Let's do four of those. And for food... There we go, that, that should be enough. Now, I don't know whether expanding at a massive, massive speed is the right thing to do or not, but we'll try it and we'll see how it works. Through hard work and experience, Governor Beak of Magenta has developed new skills. Great! So he was resilient, I think. And he's an intellectual, so... Let's have a look at our general technology. 
No, I think he was already intellectual. I think he was already there. How is our communication attempt going? Two months to go. Was unable to build a starbase? They built their own star base. Son of a pencil sharpener. Our ships are no way tough enough to be able to take that and secure that. Ah, oh, that is a that is a shame. That is such a shame. All right, well, we can. We can haggle around it and do all kinds of other things, but when it says resources have been refunded, we don't get that influence back. That place would have been perfect for us. We have found an anomaly. From time to time, our sign. Okay. In terms of the anomalies, nope. There's nothing actually going on. So the game is the game is lying. Anomaly found. There we go. So, Drumgar Two seems to exhibit one and only one interesting geological feature. All right, well, research it, and it's not a huge anomaly. We can still colonize this one. It's going to be like 60%, so it's not going to be terrible. But it's not going to be the ideal colonization. We have established communications with alien beings. What a time to be alive, or in my case, powered on. Sure thing, AI. So we've, <laughs> we've established communications with the United... Krasvillea Technocracy, uh, the UKT. Diplomatic channels are now open and all hostilities have been terminated. Well, that gives us influence, which is we good. We have made first contact with an alien empire. They appear to have mastered spaceflight just as we have. I recommend a healthy degree of caution until we learn their intentions. Okay. Well, I mean, we get to, to greet them. So they're xenophile and fanatic materialist. Which is pretty much similar to us. We're authoritarian and fanatic materialists, so yeah, the way forward lies in our hands. Uh, but uh, as they say, uh, we're the United Quasovia Technocracy, means of the wise overseer Spurb League. Our aim is to build an efficient society through the use of technology, and we're always keen to study new alien civilizations to see what can be learned from them. Yeah, the way forward lies in our hands. That's like properly arrogant. The news that we've encountered intelligent life for the first time has received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we'd long suspected. We're not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time. This changes everything. No, this changes nothing. So you're coming over here. We're going to colonize that as soon as we can. Yeah, look, that's where they were. They must have started right there. So maybe we should secure this one instead. And then come back for this one. Now, we'll, we'll have time to get around there, I'm sure. It does mean that once you're done, though, I want you to go survey here. Because if we can get something right on their borders, that would be amazing. We are a bit boxed into the corner, though. Not gonna lie, it doesn't make me feel great. Okay, well, in the meantime, in the contact screen, we can have we a look a at. Oh, they're improving our relations. They've sent an envoy to us.
Okay. I mean, I think we could we could definitely work with them. We'll let them improve the, the relations for a while. Let's have a look and see how they're doing in terms of victory. Slight, well, they're basically equivalent to us. Yeah, that must have been their, their first colony. I really want that. Receiving transmission. Research agreement, okay. We have much to learn from one another, Han. We propose the creation of a research agreement between our empires. From a research agreement with this empire, this will give both empires a bonus to the research speed of all the other empires' discovered technologies. Okay, so if they've already discovered something, we'll research it faster. It doesn't seem bad. It will probably cost us a little bit of influence to have that running. Let's wait for it to catch up because it does take a moment. Maybe research packs don't cost anything. Yeah, there we go. Research agreements are consuming a little bit. But that's not a problem. So down here, how many more? You've got a lot more planets to survey for the moment. Still need 35 more. Oh, because it'd be far away. Uh, so if you try and create a star base that's further away from your borders, it costs you more. Uh, don't ever do that. That's a really bad thing to do. Completely leveled. A thorough geological survey of uh, Dwumgar II by the wingspan in Arai reveals nothing of interest. In fact, it's extraordinarily uninteresting. Its only defining feature is its lack of defining features. There are depressions and elevations, yes, but the whole surface can be regarded as unnaturally flat. Likewise, the native flora and fauna are strikingly docile and unworthy of attention. Uh, all blockers have been cleared. Cool. I mean, that's useful. A perfectly designed planet. Yeah, I can, we can use it. Definitely something that we can use. There's quite a lot of stuff going on down here. So that that's the kind of time when I'd be tempted to jump them. But it would cost us a lot to do that and they would they would be unhappy about it. You're actually building. Are you not building? No, get that star base going. May as well at least have some form of expansion on the way. System survey concluded. Okay. Third Eye has finished down here. Uh, we can send them off down this little end neck, but it's probably not really worth it. I'd be more interested in going there and there. And if if we end up getting cut off from this bit, then we'll head back up and, and round to the north. It might be the case that we need to assimilate our neighbors. Got a lot of materials coming in though. Oh, I really wanted that place. I really, really wanted it. Very frustrating. A colony ship is taking a long time to produce. I mean, they, they always do. Uh, it's worth being aware of that. So actually, for, for what we have, we could get another science ship on the go straight after this. I 
so we can be exploring further and then with the two construction ships and three science ships i'm sure we'll we'll be set well for for what we're trying to do construction project concluded okay with construction done over here we get a mining station there to get this we need a trade hub I'm not quite sure how we would go about that that would probably be part of the, the star base if we up upgrade it to a starport but uh, not really played around that much with the uh, the trading stuff anomaly found ooh uh in this case mm. carry on surveying here then research the anomalies and then we can send you on down this way. Because the sooner we get this properly explored, the sooner we can claim it as our own. be able to bring the colony ship down anyway because that's going to take a while for it to get here. It's a lot of potentially habitable worlds. Right, there's the colony ship. Almost got enough influence. I'm really annoyed about, I, I think mostly I'm annoyed about losing the influence from this. The material's coming back, yeah, that's nice, but losing the influence from it, that's a real sting. Construction project concluded. Okay, three different leaders have gained levels. All scientists all leading the various bits of research. Oh, he's got expertise in biology, brilliant. And maniacal research speed plus five. Right, let's just double check our. Yeah, you do have the biology boost. So generally, uh, these aren't going to be too long until they get finished. Uh, you're building your second thing. How much longer have you got to finish surveying? You've got three more things to survey. Yeah, we're going to have to expand to the north quite aggressively. If we, if we can secure here then we'll probably be okay. But I think they're going to claim Paggle next. System survey concluded. Lovely. Horizons expanded. Right, you can build there. You've already got your jobs to do, so carry on and investigate this anomaly. This anomaly is actually a really tough one. It's uh, it's going to take a while because it's very hard compared to his level. We could send him off elsewhere and bring him back to do it afterwards. But there's no guarantee that he'll gain a level out and about. Right, new science ship is ready. Now we need a, a leader for them. Let's uh, get ourselves a new leader. Sure, you could just be a random 
void craft one. I'm sure you can do micromanaging for the specific leaders that you have in specific places, uh, but uh, I don't. I don't have the patience for that uh, when I'm this inexperienced in the game. Science survey speed increased by 35%. That's a good choice. Or research alternatives increased by one and scientist level cap increased by two. Let's go this way and then we'll get the research station output. So survey speed being faster, we're going to be able to plow through a whole bunch of different places. It's definitely the kind of thing that we want. Construction project it's concluded. He's not massively slow. Okay. The colony ship. Let's go in. We're going to colonize this place. Low habitability, but it is still better than nothing. So the habitability is 60%. I think that's that's perfectly fine. I'd live somewhere where the habitability was 60%. Uh, in here, we've got a lot of things that we want to get going. Let's start with this mining station, then we'll do this mining station. And after that, we'll move to here. Anomaly found. Ooh, what's this one like? That's oh, a routine one. I'll just, just research it while you're there. You're not actually doing anything worthwhile, so let's move you across for now. Now, I do understand that you're not supposed to colonise too many places at the same time, so I don't want to just get seven colonies all on the go right at the start. I think that, that would probably be counterproductive. Ah, you know what I forgot? I forgot to get research labs going, which we definitely want. Uh, in terms of actually producing consumer goods, civilian industries, that'd be all right. And between the two of those, I think that'll that'll keep this topped up quite nicely. Uh, we do have other things that we can do over here as well. That will allow us more maximum districts, but really the maximum districts isn't going to be the limiting factor, I don't think. Or maybe maximum mining districts, maximum generator districts. We've got four potential more mining districts. Well, we're going to want to clear these anyway at some point. Let's do that now. And with that, I think we're actually uh, probably out of time for the episode. Feels like a lot's happened and it feels like not much has happened. We're four, four and a half years in as, uh, as far as the game goes. Uh, we've made contact with an alien civilization. We've uh, found out a whole bunch of things and we've got a colony on the go. Uh, at least we will have just as soon as these guys touch down. You guys actually, uh, oh yeah, they're, they're dropping it down. Well, we'll let them just Congratulations finish. Congratulations on having colonized the new world. Our colonists are now in the process of building their first settlement. Sure. It will... It's going to take them a while before they can actually do anything there. Uh, so this is actually going to be ticking along uh, while they're converting their ship into a place that they can actually live. Uh, we have a governor here, Beacon Magenta. Yeah. Research concluded. And our first bit of research. Okay, well, we'll switch this across to basic strike craft mining station output. I think let's focus on 
building up before we focus on smacking other people. I think that's that's going to be a good choice. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. Um, but as I said, that is going to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching, everyone. I do hope you are enjoying this. Um, I'm going to try and keep the episodes to about an hour each. Uh, so you'll get about the same level of progress through as we go. Uh, if you've got any tips or advice, please feel free to drop them down in the comments. Um, obviously, I'm very new to this. Less than 10 hours in actual gameplay. Just enough to learn the vague mechanics. So I'm sure I will fall foul of many things as we go on. Um, but uh, yeah, Space Birds is totally a thing. Thank you again for watching. And uh, I'll see you next time for some more Stellaris. See you soon.